If you bought anything in the past few months, you've probably seen signs up saying cash isn't accepted or exact payments only. Or maybe you went to go buy your daily Chipotle burrito only to find that the cashier wouldn't give you change. <laughs> Whatever your experience may be, you're probably curious why it's happening. I know there are plenty of conspiracies as to why there is a shortage in coins, ranging anywhere from the government trying to control us all to a push to an all-digital currency. However, the answer is much, much more simple than this. To explain, let's talk about how coins enter your pocket via change in the first place. So step one, the US Mint produces coins using estimates of the demand needed. The Mint then transfers coinage to the 12 nationwide Federal Reserve Banks who order coins based on their current inventory levels and current outflow of coins. So it's a game of we have this many coins going out, we need this many in reserves to be able to facilitate all these people. And then from there, each of these Federal Reserve Bank locations serve a regional area of commercial banks. Those are the ones that you would go and have an account at, or maybe your business has an account at, like Wells Fargo, a Chase, things like that. These commercial banks then order coins from a Federal Reserve Bank based on their anticipated need for the near future. New and recirculated coins are then shipped by armored vehicle to your local bank who can then disperse coins to businesses or account holders at their location. Businesses then have sufficient coins to make change for cash transactions. If a commercial bank has too many coins on hand, they will then send coins back to a Federal Reserve Bank who will sort out counterfeits and worn out coins and melt them down to be reminted and later sent to another commercial bank and the process starts all over again. There's one thing you'll notice about this process on every step of the way from mint to reserve bank to commercial bank to business to consumer, each entity and each step holds the amount of coins it thinks it will need for a specific time period. It's all estimates all the way down. So under normal circumstances, this is no issue whatsoever. But if a condition changes anywhere down the line, there can be a major disruption in the supply chain. So now that we know how coins get to your pocket when you pay cash, let's take a look at the current conditions that are causing a disruption. Condition one, many banks have closed their doors during lockdown, meaning fewer people coming in with cash and coins to deposit and recirculate money. I know many banks are now open again, maybe some at limited capacity, but I know personally I haven't been to a bank in months and before the pandemic hit, I would go maybe once every week or two. Condition two, many businesses have closed down during the lockdown, including businesses who rely on coin payments. Businesses like laundromats who are instrumental to getting coins back in circulation. I believe this is really one of the biggest reasons for this shortage of coins because I occasionally use cash when at a store if I happen to have some cash on me to cover whatever I'm buying, but I almost never use coins. For me, and I suspect for most people, you might pay with cash occasionally, you take your change, you get home later and you throw it in a jar and then it sits there for years until it's full and you want to cash it out at a bank or a kiosk or something like that. Or maybe you, every once in a while you'll dig your hand in there, grab a handful if you need to use a business that takes change like a laundromat. Condition three, what we're seeing this shortage. The US Mint actually slowed down its production of coins in the beginning of the pandemic for the safety of its workers. This is when everything was shutting down and basically everything was running at limited capacity. Even fewer coins were being minted than previously, disrupting the supply of coins. And then finally, condition four, even now that businesses are opening back up, many customers are opting for no contact payments or no contact delivery, meaning even less coins and cash being used. I mean, we can see this just about everywhere. Most restaurants have options where you can just pull up, they'll bring you your food you already paid. Many people are opting to order things even more online than they did in the past because then they don't have to go to a store. All of these little transactions add up every single day and just adds to the reasons why there are even fewer coins in circulation. Now that we know all the causes, let's talk about the impacts. Studies show that up to 60% of grocery store and convenience store sales are cash payments. 
and close to 50% of all transactions under $10 are done with cash as well. But what's more troubling is the shortage disproportionately affects low-income earners. People with an annual income of less than $25,000 a year pay cash in 43% of transactions. Many Americans don't have bank accounts and don't have any form of electronic payment. And this is who the shortage really affects. And this is the real reason why there's a huge problem with this. So what's the solution to all this? Well, there's a few things happening. First, the Mint has since ramped up production on coins by 60%. They first slowed it down, but now they're ramping up more than 60%. They went from 1 billion coins being created a month to 1.6 billion a month and plan to continue at that rate for quite a while. A coin task force has also been created, which sounds much cooler than it really is. <laughs> this task force is urging Americans to start spending coins, deposit change to banks, and redeem coins at kiosks, all in order to help get the circulation of coins going again. But really the best solution will be to get the economy back to normal so the supply chain is no longer disrupted. So in summary, we call it a coin shortage, but that's not exactly what's going on. There are plenty of coins, $48 billion worth of coins in circulation to be exact. It's a coin circulation problem, not a coin shortage problem. Once business is resumed as usual, the circulation issue will resolve itself. But until then, the coin task force is on the mission and the mint is making more coins than ever. Speaking of coin, if you want to make some extra coin real quick, check out the link in my description for Weeble. If you make an account and deposit $100 in your account, you will receive two completely free stocks valued between $12 all the way up to $1,400. It takes about five minutes to do. You actually don't have to spend the $100 that you deposit. You can get your free stocks, take your $100 back if you don't like the service. You get free stocks. So check that out in the link in my description and you'll be helping out this channel along the way. From here, I'd just like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.